It appears like the New York Jets may change Michael Clemens and John Franklin Myers position a little bit, and I am for it. What is going on guys, Matt O'Leary back with another video. Today I want to get into JFM and Michael Clemens potentially changing up their position according to defensive coordinator Jeff Ulbrich. So, Ulbrich no doubt has become a little bit more of a fan favorite after the impressive turnaround of the defense last year. But Ulbrich was a little bit of a punching bag mostly due to his defensive line rotations. The biggest criticism from Jeff fans were how much he would rotate those defensive linemen and how he wouldn't have the bigger guys uh, out there as much as, you know, some assume that they should be. But Olberg mentioned that with the depth the Jets have at edge, obviously Bryce Huff coming back, you draft Will McDonald, you have year two Jermaine Johnson, you have Carl Lawson still sticking around. He mentioned that John Franklin Myers and Michael Clemens, both of those guys, could play more inside this year, which I think is a tremendous thing. And also, Michael Clemens put on 20 pounds of muscle and is now up to 290 pounds. He is one scary SOB. That screams three tech to me. Put him on the inside and let him feast with that motor and that athleticism on the inside. I love it. Clemens almost exclusively played edge last year, which is fine. You know, when they drafted him, they mentioned his, you know, positional flexibility due to his size, but he only had 12 snaps on the inside during the regular season last year. He did play on the inside a little bit against the uh, Philadelphia Eagles in the preseason. And again, once again, at his size, it probably makes some more sense to move him inside uh, as opposed to outside, especially on at, at a minimum pass rushing situation. So second and third and long when it's obvious situations where teams are going to be throwing the football, you want to get those twitched up edge rushers on the field and you want the athletic profile of Michael Clemens on the inside. Plus something that was really good from Michael Clemens was he was an excellent run defender. So if you move him inside, you feel comfortable enough with him in the run game to put him in that spot. The same kind of thing could be said about John Franklin Myers, who early on in his career did play significantly more on the inside, but over the last two years, that has really gone away. In 2020, his first year with the New York Jets, he played 157 snaps on the inside. That number dropped to 15 in 2021, and then 29 this past year in 2020. 22, you can make the case that JFM was most efficient as a pass rusher. He didn't put up the best numbers that year, but a lot of that was due to usage. But just overall pass rush efficiency probably was at his best when he was playing on the interior. But similar to Michael Clemens, the Jets love JFM's run stopping ability on the outside, which is fair. You need to have edge rushers who can contain and set the edge. For instance, Calvin Pace on the New York Jets was here for an eternity, but he was very, very good at setting the edge and, you know, making plays. You think uh, ah, slightly different, but um, Sean Ellis kind of reminds you of that. You're not going to put necessarily put up those gaudy sack numbers. Can get after the, the quarterback a little bit, but uh, is really a good player against the run as well. But with JFM, uh, moving inside, that allows, once again, to get some of those other guys on the field a little bit more. Plus, Franklin Myers is 288 pounds, so that is much closer to an interior player than an edge player. But once again, we already talked about Jermaine Johnson needing a bigger role this year. So moving both those guys inside gets him on the field more. And Bryce Huff. Remember at the beginning of the year last year, Bryce Huff was inactive to start the season. Just absolutely insane. He doesn't necessarily just have to exclusively be used as a third down pass rusher, even though that's his strength. You want him on the field more. And the same could be said with Carl Lawson, who's, you know, kind of was steady for them last year. He wasn't spectacular, but he was uh, he was a steady player for them. Overall, I think this is a smart move for the New York Jets, but I want to hear from you. What do you think about this move? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, I am Matt O'Leary. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you next time.